actually what I specialize in are the regenerative injection therapies. So things like prolotherapy, PRP, autologous stem cell therapy, um, which most of those things are going to come at a higher uh, ticket price than peptides, but in my opinion, they work better than peptides um, because they're a more targeted uh, therapy. So I am a, uh, a big believer in that if you have tissue level changes somewhere and that those tissue level changes are causing you pain. So for example, uh, you said uh, hip, hip pain was one of your areas, right? Yeah. Okay. So for example, you have hip pain and an MRI shows that you have a labral tear and my physical exam shows that you have pain coming from uh, the anterior labrum where that labral tear is, a direct injection of a substance that is uh, going to help to heal that area, in my opinion, is a better approach than taking uh, an oral peptide uh, to uh, to try and help heal because you're de when you take it orally, you are dependent on the body deciding that it wants to use that peptide to heal what you want it to heal, which is the hip. We've seen a number of cases where, you know, with BPC, patients come in, they have both gut and musculoskeletal stuff, but they're wanting help with their musculoskeletal stuff. They, we start on BPC. They notice that their gut gets better, but their musculoskeletal stuff doesn't. Um, and, and that sometimes happens. Um, and so, uh, so those are the other areas that I can uh, maybe help in this case is figuring out exactly what structures are causing you pain. So that way we can take a step forward in trying to help regenerate those tissues or get them to be uh, the integrity of them a little bit better so that way they are not painful so that way you're not needing to rely on other methods of, of pain relief pain control things like that